All right, I'm sure most of you love to bookmark things like articles, social media posts of interest, things you love to purchase, beautiful places and more, and you've probably bookmarked these in various applications where you found them. In this video, we are looking at some link management applications that can help you take control of all these bookmarks and they are all free to install. At number one is raindrop.io. Now, if you don't want an overcomplicated interface, then this one comes with a simple, well-organized homepage with all your bookmarks, collections, filters, tags in that order. And if you have a lot of links saved, this structure helps keep everything clear and easy to find. You can also change the appearance of the bookmarks from lists to cards and choose the information to appear. And of course, it supports pasting links or sharing from the Android share sheets. You can group your saved content into collections, customize each one with icons, and use tags to filter and search efficiently. So when adding a link or creating a bookmark, you have the chance to add them. And a great feature I love with this application is you can read, watch, or have access to the content without leaving the application. Most bookmark applications just take you outside immediately you tap on the saved link. But if you prefer that instead, you can change that from in-app to Chrome. And when reading in-app, you can create highlights by tapping on this pen icon and it will stay highlighted. Plus, you can also share and collaborate on collections with others and your bookmarks sync across all devices once you add an account. And you can import them from your browser and also create backups. There's also a web version so you can sync your data there as well. The pro version comes with AI suggestions, full text search, permanent library and more. At number 2, we have Stacklist. This one looks well designed and polished so you can also paste a link or share from the Android share sheet and they get organized into stacks which are basically themed collections built around whatever you are into. You can create a stack for your travel plans, wishlist items, cool gadgets, or even random inspiration, and it stays neat and easy to revisit later. The links saved are called CARPS. It even allows scanning QR codes to save its content as well. Homepage looks modern and has this mood board vibe. When adding a link, you can add description. You actually have it added automatically, so you can just edit, change card format, add to a stack, and add tags. And what makes Stacklist stand out is it also helps you discover what other people are curating. If you are planning a trip, for example, you might come across a public stack filled with must-see spots or local food recommendations. And when you're the one making the plans, Stacklist makes it simple to collaborate. You can add notes, tags, and categories to your stacks and then share them via direct link or social media so everyone stays on the same page. And it supports signing up with your Google account so your data can be synced across devices. At number 3 is Pixel Bookmarks, and of course, it's 2025, material you design, dynamic themes, and more. Pixel Bookmarks come packed with awesome features necessary to make link keeping actually enjoyable. Plus, it recently got a massive redesign, and honestly, who wouldn't love it? It looks super clean and well organized, you can create custom collections, even nested ones for those who like structure on structure, add tags to make things more searchable, you can personalize every link by adding its image, title, and subtitle. And finding stuff later is super fast. You can search by keyword or tag or even collection. You can even choose which browser to use or open links directly in incognito mode. Everything syncs with backups too, both local and Google Drive. And theme settings include choosing color scheme, fonts, light or dark mode, and a whole bunch of bookmark appearance settings. You can add reminders to bookmarks, pin them, customize them when you upgrade from the free version. It is sleek and smart and fully designed with Material U for that modern Android vibe. You can't go wrong making this your go-to link management application. At number 4 is Later Links, and this also looks clean and out there in terms of organization. Even though the monospace fonts plus the wavy lines make the homepage messy from the beginning, at least in my eyes, but once I switch the fonts, it's all good. Maybe it doesn't really make a difference. It also allows adding links from the share sheets, once saved, Later links help you stay organized with custom folders and optional tags. You can group your links however you want, research, inspiration, shopping, reading lists, and more, and use the built-in search and filter tools to find exactly what you're looking for later. The interface is simple, clean, which means even if you saved hundreds of links, they are still easy to browse and manage. It displays the date each bookmark was made. The collections page also has your favorite bookmarks. Data syncing is a premium feature, probably on the importing and exporting data side of things, but using the application does not require account setup. At number 5 is Linkora, and of course I was going to mention an open source alternative. And Linkora is simple and powerful. 
It has a clean, material you inspired interface that is fast and easy to navigate. Saving links is straightforward with this app. You just tap the plus button, you paste your link, optionally rename it or add notes, and save it. You can organize your links into folders and even subfolders. Links you mark as important have a separate tab, and less urgent ones can be archived instead of deleted, keeping your main list clutter free. The app integrates seamlessly with other Android applications through the share feature, automatically grabbing titles and thumbnail images to keep your saved links visually organized. You can pin favorite folders to your home screen for quick access using panels. Syncing is self-hosted, so no third-party cloud servers. It uses local storage for offline speed and reliability, and supports easy importing and exporting of data for backups or in case you switch devices. Visually, it looks awesome, with the tab icons at the bottom, beautiful search page, collections page also looks neat, and of course the settings. You can change link appearance. I mean, on Pixel bookmarks, you should upgrade to the premium version to have that customization unlocked. In terms of appearance, it is solid, user-friendly, and also privacy-focused. So, if that is what you are looking for, then feel free to check it out. Let me know which other link management applications you prefer using and also what are some features you love about it. If you found this video helpful, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel for more app reviews and recommendations. And as always, thank you for watching.